Hey y'all, how's it going? Today's video, I decided I wanted to try a little experiment with my truck and with fuel economy and with fuel additives. For years I've been saying, I'm not seeing fuel benefits, miles per gallon benefits on this truck. It's a stock engine uh, with 35 inch mud terrain tires and so I decided, well, I'm going to go to the same gas station and fill up back-to-back -back tanks with different additives and just drive my normal daily driving, which was about 95% highway on each tank. And I put together just some basic data to see what would happen. So the first one I did was standard on blue. This is one of my favorite ones. This is like an everyday treatment. Um, I got 18.14 gallons or miles per gallon, which wasn't, you know, too bad. It was pretty good. Um, so I tried Lucas next. I did Lucas for three tanks in a row and we had 17.96, 17.83, 18.24, uh, kind of salvage for Lucas. Um, but overall I wasn't too impressed on those. And so I was like, all right, well, let's see what happens if we don't. Uh, run any additive and I have my best tank 18.83 so I decided well well that seems pretty uh, opposite of what's supposed to happen so I'm like well let's try standardine again and we got 18 and a half on that which was pretty good uh, it was one of my best tanks but still not as good so I'm like well let's switch back to nothing again and see what happens and we got 18.6 with a slight increase. So I was really surprised that, you know, these additives didn't help me. Um, it'd be interesting to try more additives. I'm, I'm trying out hot shots right now in the truck and um, it kind of, me it'll mess up this data if I include it because I didn't go to the same station. I went to a Exxon station and this, I filled up the same pump at Chevron each time and we just stay local it's not a scientific study by any means but it's it's got to hold some weight so this is our overall average standardine blue 18.33 lucas 17.89 and using nothing at all 18.72 <laughs> so dang you know if, if you're going to spend money on fuel additives it'd be nice to make some back in fuel economy but in this case that didn't happen for me um, I've also got diesel clean at home and I could try that and see what happens, but I'm thinking for the most part, it's pretty similar across the board, no matter which brand that you choose. So on the big trucks with, uh, you know, and big rigs and, and pickup trucks, I don't think the fuel economy, you really see it. It's more on the s small cars like Volkswagens and, and others, uh, that run on diesel. Those are the ones that you might be able to pick up some miles per gallon. Um, what's really kind of bad about all this is the volume of the additive itself. I didn't include it in the calculation, which would actually, if I did, it would make their numbers worse because it's like, okay, we put 16 ounces of standardine in. I didn't include that in this number. If I did, that number would be lower. So that really adds insult to injury for the fuel additives. But I just wanted to share that with y'all because um, I've released a couple videos about fuel additives already. And I've mentioned that I don't think I'm seeing the fuel economy benefits. So I decided to do this test to see if I could kind of validate that uh, notion. So y'all have a good one. Uh, hope you found this one helpful.